loved squash. He came to it late, late in his life, and he felt that had he had a go at it early in his life, he might have become an international. Do you any? Do you think you know? Had he given it a go instead of concentrating hurling? I saw Chris Ewing playing squash actually. You know, he's um, he was a great player. Yeah, you know? I'd say. Oh, he would have because I'd say that in Christie Bree's mind, don't I? Yeah. He did it. I'd say. You know. Give me one forward, one forward, whom you respect above all others in the history of hurling. I'd say Tony Dorn. The great Tony of Wexford. Yeah, Hand in the air, it doesn't matter what sort of sticks were flying. Well, he was dangerous in the air, he was dangerous in the ground. He was dangerous once he was around, to be honest. A lovely tribute from the Bennett's Bridge goalkeeper and the full forward from Buffer's Alley. I have a little job for you, though. The cards. Just extract one there. You can shuffle them. I don't know why people shuffle them, but shuffle them anyway if you feel like it. And uh, take one out, and uh, when you take one out, we'll see. What have you got for me? Ah, 1980. 1980. Now, that was a very good year. 35 yards out. A curling. Into the centre. Sean O'Neill trying to work his way through. A great save. Oh, a great save by Johnny Quality. Another shot, and it's a goal. The players that Matt played with and seen. I mean, it's a bit unfair, I know, right off the top of your head. But the immediate names that come to mind. Um, well, some of the greatest players I admire are the players I played with. Uh, it would be unfair for me to pick out anyone of the, the great team we had of the 70s, early 80s. Um, outside of that, uh, the great players I met would be Brian Mullins, um, Matt Connor from Offaly, uh, Peter McGinnity from Fermanagh, a player who I had great admiration for, um, Larry Tompkins in Cork. Uh, there's all different fellows. It's, it's unfair, I suppose, to pick out any few, but probably the greatest players I played with were, would be the players on top of my mind. Jack, you've just done about it all. It, that was open to you in your own games. Is there any unfulfilled ambition? Um, not really. Uh, this year might hold one that I win another all the medal. Uh, there's nothing really that I uh, would say. I suppose you get greedy when you start winning or anything like that. But the one thing I want to do is to play football and enjoy it. And once I enjoy it, that's the main thing. Our special guest on this particular program, there may have been, there may have been somebody as good, but there was never anybody better. Let's hear it for Jack O'Shea.